How's it going everyone? Session here. Welcome to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We officially have our first ever set of patch notes for the game. Now, I don't think that the patch notes that are related to the game at the moment is anything close to being like a huge update. I think it's more so just tackling a lot of issues that people may have been experiencing throughout their time with playing the game. Uh, that being said, we are definitely going to be getting some heavy dropped DLC since there is a lot of things rumored to be coming into the game very soon, such as a new family member and a new victim, new powers, new perks, and potentially even a new map. But let's just address some of the patch notes that we see below. We have a rapid patch incoming early tomorrow, Eastern time, September 5th, 2023, which is tomorrow based on when the video is recorded. So there may be some staggered levels of deployment across different platforms due to each patch coming in hot. The patch will address the following issues. PC stuttering on ultra graphic settings, has been fixed. This fix now resolves graphical issues with running the game on ultra settings with appropriate hardware. This also fixes an issue causing FPS drops when attacking or grappling with opponents while running the game on ultra with the appropriate hardware. They fixed voice chat not working in lobbies for party members. This fixes for an issue for, <laughs> see, I actually really appreciate how they literally give you like the subject and then the detail. I think that's such a really important thing to actually showcase and it doesn't keep it vague at all. So as much as it's repeating itself, it's still really good information. So the fix is for an issue where party members would lose voice chat functionality once they're in a lobby. Uh, XP progression, the fix resolves a UI issue that would appear to rank up after every match despite not gaining the required XP to do so. And this fix also revolves inaccurate XP and XP delays er related to earning XP. Various crashes and freezes, including one for the PS4, relating to unlocking trophies, also a fix for high level players experiencing a crash on the match results screen. Key rebinding, they added a key rebinding to the PC version of the game. Thank the Lord. This is actually amazing. I was pretty shocked that they didn't have this uh, at launch because I do I do want to change my PC uh, keybinds considering I play on keyboard and mouse and just the fact that I didn't have that functionality was kind of uh, interesting. But now that it's actually out to come tomorrow, I'm really happy that they're actually implementing that as a change. Lobbies will now launch with six players, which is interesting. Um, this change should help lobbies get running smoother, quicker, and with less drops due to incomplete lobbies. Leatherface is still required for the match, which we've understood as being a necessity for the game, just considering it's his game, and also because his role as the family member is so pivotal for the game's functionality for how you can traverse the map and everything too, so this makes sense. Quick match menu, moves quick match to the top of the menu when looking to join games. It will result not only quicker match making in the lobby, but also for fuller lobbies. PC removed from crossplay. We are temporarily separating PC from the console player base in crossplay while we can continue to improve our anti cheat tools and resources. So I think this is actually pretty fascinating because I personally, in my experiences of playing the game so far, never encountered an opportunity or a moment where there were people hacking or cheating in the lobby. But I have been hearing about other people's experiences where they encountered family members who would literally one shot. Uh, remove the victims. There's a exploit right now where you're able to just never get killed by the family, so you just have like unlimited health basically. Um, you can actually also lose out on the hitbox, so you just can't get hit by anything from the family side or the traps. Uh, you're not necessarily invisible, but just you can uh, go through those kind of encounters. So the fact that there is actually a separation for that kind of blows my mind because I didn't really think that there was going to be anything for. Uh, hackers to encounter in this game but i guess i was wrong and hopefully they figure out a smooth fix for that as well so we'll find out and eac and cheat improvements we made several improvements for anti cheat and protection from additional cheat resources we've also improved our tracking and logging for cheat protection and consistent failure future improvement so they also plan to run a second edition of the Morto times later this week to highlight the next steps for the team which is going to be cool because we'll actually get more information like i said with that very much soon to come with the game so that's literally what the notes are going to delegate towards like there's really not all too much to expect from this they're really working hard to fix a lot of the small nuanced issues that the game has been encountering since its release and i am really really happy that they are allowing you to rebind your controls for pc players and it's a little bit unfortunate that they had to separate the crossplay for PC players, uh, but it is important to you know make sure that they keep the game smooth and functional too. So this also makes total sense to me. All in all, though, I'm glad that they're tackling these issues as quickly as they are because 
you know, the game hasn't really been out for more than a week. And so for us to already be getting updates such as this and as quick as we are, it's a really nice comfort to know that they're really working to just make sure that this game is at tip top shape on a constant basis. So that's literally all the notes we have for this. So we'll definitely get more information. I'm pretty sure throughout this month, maybe early next month uh, to find out more about what's to come content wise, because I'm sure they're going to be introducing some kind of a store for purchasing cosmetics in the future. There's probably going to be some kind of a season pass situation where you can get cosmetics by just playing the game progressively. Uh, the game has a really, you know, extensive grind, which is definitely something that's worth checking out and just, you know, simply playing the game will allow you to really immerse yourself in that. Uh, so I really appreciate that this game has so much to offer and we're just scratching the surface. So thank you all watch for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think about the notes and we'll definitely see how all this plays into the game as they get released uh, starting tomorrow. So thank you for watching and take care.